today we are going to be working on our text structure that we have been working on in class called Compare and Contrast. As you know, different types of nonfiction text are written in different ways for us to be able to uh, better understand the text, and this one is going to be comparing and contrasting different holidays. It is called A Season of Celebration. The holiday season highlights America's diversity. So please turn to page 70 and 71 in your navigating nonfiction text, and your page should look just like mine. First, we're going to look at some of the text features of this text so that we can better understand what we are going to be reading about. Remember, text features include headings, photographs, captions, charts, inserts, diagrams, etc. So today we're going to be looking at, um, first we're going to look at this page right here. And this page right here, we have some headings. Our first heading here is called All in the Family. So we can make a prediction that this might be about the different families in our um, nation of the United States and maybe how those families celebrate different holidays. If we look down here at the different uh, photographs, you'll see this one has a caption titled Hanukkah. So we know that this photograph is representing the holiday of Hanukkah. This photograph has a caption of Ramadan and that we know that that would be the <clears throat> holiday that is portrayed in this photograph. This last photograph is Diwali and this is a photo of an event that would happen in that religion or tradition. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be reading to you and pausing for different types of questioning and when we are finished we are going to be using the same text in our whole group lesson. So I am going to go ahead and zoom in so that we can read this text together. For 30 days, Yasmin Ahmed won't eat, won't drink or eat until sunset. Yasmin, 12, is a Muslim. She is fasting for Ramadan, an Islamic holiday. When we fast, we can feel how poor feel and how hungry they are because they don't get to eat, says Yasmin, who is from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. She and her family also donate clothing and canned goods to the poor during Ramadan. Americans practice different faiths, each with its own holidays. The freedom to practice religion is a major reason why the pilgrims settled here. During the last three months of the year, followers of many religions in America <clears throat> celebrate their holidays. The Muslim holiday, Ramadan, the Hindu holiday, Diwali, the Buddhist holiday, Bodhi Day and the Jewish festival of Hanukkah and the Christian holiday of Christmas are all celebrated in October, November, or December. All in the family. The story of Hanukkah reminds Jack Momwire 9 that miracles are all around him. Hanukkah celebrates a miracle, says Jack of New York City, and I believe in miracles. Jack also loves being with his family to celebrate. My grandfather comes over and he sings the prayers out loud. My grandmother likes to make noodle pudding and matzo ball soup, says Jack. I spin the dreidel with my big sister. A dreidel is a kind of spinning top. Being with family also makes the holidays special for Delilah Edner, 12, of Brooklyn, New York. I love Christmas, Delilah says. We hang up stockings and fill them with candy. Delilah also likes to sing Christmas carols. A time to reflect. Some see the holidays as a time for reflection and prayer. Daiva Singh, 14, who lives in Queens, New York, was born in India. We pray for prosperity, knowledge, and peace, she says. Alana Hazagwa, 16, of Shoreline, Washington, reflects on the meaning of life on Bodhi Day. Bodhi Day celebrates enlightenment in the day when the founder of Buddhism became the Buddha after meditating beneath a Bodhi tree. No matter what your beliefs are, age-old rituals and traditions have great meaning. Paul Thayer, a religion and child expert, explains, the rituals and traditions of holidays are fun and connects kids to the goodness of life. Now if we look closely, we will see that there is a chart here that has all of the different uh, students that we talked about in the passage, along with their religion, the holiday in which they celebrate, 
how it is celebrated, why it is celebrated, and the percentage of people in the United States who celebrate those holidays.